3-1 victory against Schoon in the GA Cup in the next round. Made hard work of it at times, but there was a lot of changes. Yeah, completely different back four. Um, just Adam Harvey suspended, uh, Derek Parson struggling, and there's a few other niggles there, here and there. So we had to make some changes, um, and that kind of disrupt things slightly. But um, it's about getting in the next round of the competition. I, I could dwell on loads of individual things we didn't do well enough today, but um, I'm not going to. I think that we said to them to start, go out, put a performance in and get a result. We've put a performance in, wasn't of the highest calibre, but we've got the result. I think we showed during the game two or three really bits of good bit of quality, and we've done that with cause school problems, but we created our own problems as well, made the wrong decisions at times, and in fair play to school, I thought they did really well. I thought um, if they'd just shown a wee bit more composure as a partner, could have could have put us under a real bit of pressure, but we've came through it, um, and we're in the next round of the competition, and that is the objective at the start, and um, We've learned a few things, yeah, probably have. Some good positives came out of the game. Some individual players did well, and there's a few things we need to work on. So, um, yeah, overall, it's pretty steady. Um, I thought the, the defence started slowly, and obviously with the, with the, men, the changes that we made, then that was always going to happen, but they came onto the game as the game sort of progressed. Yeah, I thought um, Bailey Steele played in at right back today and I thought first half, he, he just did enough. Second half, I thought he did really well. He won his battles and he started to get forward and um, having Stephen Cook back gives a bit of flexibility. But not having a, a, a recognised centre half on the park was, it was a problem for us because some of the areas that Schoon were getting into were areas that we don't happen when both Derek Patterson and uh, Adam Harwood are playing. So, um, yeah, do you know what? Back four came into the game and got stronger as the game went on, and I'm happy enough with that. We, we can see the goal that, do you know, in another week we probably don't. But it's, um, yeah, as I said, I'm not going to dwell on that. I think there's things that we look at individually as a management team, just things that we want to address in terms of positioning of players and, and stuff. But no, it's, it's a good day all round, to be honest. Front two, Pat Martin and Ryan Dignan, I thought they were a handful for, for 90 minutes. They gave the yeah. back four. The run round and, and Ziggy got his reward with his two goals. Yeah, he worked really hard. Both of them worked really hard. I think at times today we just should have given the ball a bit earlier. We should have recognised that they were causing so much problems and delivered balls in the box because every time it was coming up to them, the, the, the back foot was going to look nervy and, and rightly so because every time they were going forward, their pace, the tenacity to get in and about in good areas. So, um, yeah, I was really pleased with them. I think it was good to get the goals. I think Pat was unlucky in the first 10 minutes. He, he could have scored two. I think he's one he's just headed just off the crossbar and one's came off the post. You score those two goals and you're two, three up in the first ten minutes and it's a different outlook of the game. But it's not fell from this week, but he's good enough to get in these areas and, and I know that goals will come from him, particularly um, in the coming weeks because he's, he's got sharpness about his game. Um, and we give him opportunities in the box, he will go and score them. So uh, and, and Ziggy as well, he, he comes up with the goods and, and that's what we ask him to do. Complement one another. Sometimes one striker will score a couple of goals he, week after week and then it's the turn of the other person. As long as they're both scoring goals, I'm not bothered. Man of the match this afternoon? Um, probably Stephen Cook. I thought Stephen Cook just um, epitomises what he's all about. He just organises, he's got great quality and composure. He started at centre half and moved out to left back. And everything he done was was excellent. He, he wants better of every single player in the park. If there's a few errors by a player, he's got the arm round them and he's getting them going. And he was a real driving force for us today. Um, so I definitely think that he was a worthy man of the match today. Next week, back to the league fair and tough game down at Bonnyrigg. Yeah, always tough when you go down to Bonnyrigg. I think arguably, arguably they're the best team in the league. Um, I think that uh, it'll be tough to go down there. It's a, it's a difficult place to go and we've struggled as a club when we went down there. We've put in some good performances. We're going to have to be at our very best next week. And we've got Adam Harwood back. Hopefully Derek Patterson after the rest of the day will be back and um, a few things to think about today. So... We'll have a good week at training, we'll get our heads together and we'll come up with a game plan of what we think we're going to need to do um, to come up the road with some points at Bonnie Rig. but make no mistake about it, we'll have to be bang on the, on the money to do so because it's not an easy place to go, but we'll be ready, we always are.